Hey, 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 hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tim Meyer along with Mark Heinball, and we welcome you to the Shelby TV Sports Special. The Eisenhower Eagles taking on the Henry Ford Trojans in this regional game, Division I, Region IV. And this is for the championship. And Mark, uh, tell us a little bit about that team from Detroit Henry Ford. Well, coached by Mike Marshall, they pulled an upset last week against King, defeating them 20 to nothing. I mean, shut them down. Offensively, they run the wing tee, they run the wrist bone, they run the power eye, and they will throw out of each formation. Defensively, they're going to run a Michigan 52. They'll play man, they'll play zone. Uh, the best part about that defense is their speed and their quick front line. Their kicking game is average, but I tell you what, this team is fast. A lot of speed. A lot of speed. The Eisenhower Eagles also with uh, a speedy defense come on in here. And uh, the big question mark today will be uh, Chris Hoover's back. And he's out there. He seems to be all right. The Eagles will kick it off to begin the ball game. Deep for Henry Ford will be number nine, Mike Merriweather. And number 21, Marvin Brandon. And Griswolski with a foot into it. It's a high kick. It's going to come to number nine, uh, Merriweather. And he gets to the outside. He's got a lot of running room there. Griswolski, only one back. He knocks him out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Mike Merriweather takes it all the way up to the 44, and that's where the Trojans will start out first and 10. Field by Merriweather. Knocked out of bounds. Number five for Henry Ford, Wilson Anderson is the quarterback. Run out of the baseball, pitch back to Randy. Going around the right side, a little bit of room there. And he'll be forced out of bounds after a gain of two. It'll be second down and eight for the Trojans. Well, Tim Radney is a 5'10", 195-pound senior. Has gained almost 1,100 yards and run for 12 TDs this season. Again, the Trojans come out in the wishbone. Inside handoff there to number three, Jeff Atkins. And he's met and hit pretty hard by the Eisenhower Eagles. Number 50, Paul Fanoni on a hit. Third down and uh, call it six for the Trojans. Well, Atkins is a 5'9", 210-pound senior. He has 1,200 yards rushing and nine TDs. That just tells you how wide open offensively this team can run. Anderson looking over the Eagle defense. Pitch back to Randy. Got to come around the right side. Got a little bit of room. Finally tackled there and knocked out of bounds. Looked like John to Georgia over there making the play. It'll be fourth down. And well, I call it fourth down in about three yards. Fourth down in three. And the Trojans break out of their offense into their punting unit. Phillips uh, goes back, I'm sorry, that's Ken Wilson back for Eisenhower deep. And kicking the ball for Ford will be Jereko Taylor. Snaps a good one. Taylor gets the kickoff. It's a spinner, knocks down at the 19, right to Wilson. He picks it up, makes a couple of moves to the 15, and he'll be tackled there. Taylor's punt. In on that tackle, number 45 for Ford, James Gaston, and number 51, Jawan Kenny. So the Eagles will start out first and 10. The ball will be on their own 16-yard line. Well, that, that kickoff return did one thing for Henry Ford. It gave them great field position for their first drive. A good defense by the Eagles forced the punt. Now they start out on their own 16. Eisenhower, 11-0 on the year. Starts with the jo Joe DiGiorgio at quarterback. John DiGiorgio and Chris Hoover are the running backs. John Tynan, Jeff Hartman, and Matt Thurman are the receivers. Give to uh, DiGiorgio coming around. The left side got some room. He's on his feet. they will be first down up to the 32-yard line goes John DiGiorgio. First down. Normally you see those student body rights and lefts run with Hoover. 
But I tell you what, Johnny did a nice job of getting some blocks, seal blocks on the outside, turned that baby up, and got a great first down. Again, same formation for Eisenhower. Tynan will come in motion again. Back goes to Georgia to throw, being rushed. Now he rolls out of it, looking, and he's going to be sacked there. Caught from behind by number eight. By number eight, Kendrew Wright. Kendrew Wright. And it'll be a four-yard loss for the Eagles. It'll be second down and 14. Tim, that time I absolutely saw no one running a pattern parallel with Joe to be open to throw the ball to. He had to take that one and eat it. Four yards, second and 14 for the Eagles. Now Eisenhower uh, breaking out of it. Forward showing blitz here. Eisenhower, three receivers on the left side. Down to Georgia's open, he's got it. Makes a move and tackle there by number nine, Mike Merriweather, but not before to Giorgio. It's up to the 36-yard line. It'll be third down for Eisenhower. Well, I believe Joe saw the blitz that time, Tim, and what he did, he audibled off, ran away from the blitz, and just made that nice little dump pass out to Johnny on the sidelines to get us in a third and six situation. Third and six for Eisenhower. Eagles with the same formation, but the receivers are on the opposite side. Giorgio back to throw. Being run. Guy makes a fake move. Got a man open his heart, but he's got the first down. Falls forward to the 49-yard line. Tackle there by number six, Darian Fuqua. Well, real nice vision by Joe. He took his time, had his patience, rolled out, picked out a receiver that was open. Nice little play first down. And I think the, the key to this one is the fake pass. Uh, he faked it first, see, and he got the linebacker there to commit. First and 10 Eagles, ball just shy of the 50-yard line. John Tiny comes in motion. Give us to Hoover. Got a little bit of running room. Closes quickly on him. Uh, he'll go down three yards. Well, I call it two yards for Chris. And he's tackled there by number 59, Robert Jackson. Robert Jackson, one of the best linebackers in the PSL. Um, from what I understand, made first team all PSL at, at, on defense, so you know he can play the game. Now the Eagles in that bad part of the field. Coach Bob Lancey would like nothing better than a new field to play on, but we got to play what we got right now. Give to Hoover again, makes a couple of moves. Another cut, still on his feet, driving forward and uh, meets up with number eight, Kendrew Wright. And old Tex gets him down before he gets the first down. About a yard and a half short. Yeah, definitely slipped in that spot of the field and lost his balance a little bit, picked it back up and got what he could get out of it. It's very muddy in some areas out there in the middle of this field, Tim. Ball's on the 42 of uh, Henry Ford. The Eagles, third and one. Now, fumble. What do we got? Fumble and a flag on the play. Got illegal motion against Eisenhower. That'll move it back. And the Eagles will be penalized five yards, and that'll move the ball back to the 47 of the Trojans. Definitely changes the play selection that uh, Coach Terry Capacia wants to call. A little bit different being third and one and a half, and now he's about third and six and a half. We got a timeout by Eisenhower. They want to talk this over. <laughs> Get a play up. A couple of ball games that uh, played last night, Tim, in the area. We've still got some MAC teams looking to go further into the state playoffs. Chippewa Valley uh, defeating Gross Point South, and the prize for that one would probably have to play Brother Rice, Mark. They they will play Brother Rice next weekend up at Gross Point. Excuse me, up at Port Huron. And we'd like to remind you folks out there, uh, after the game, before the game, or during the game, if you're watching us here on Shelby TV, or even if you're not, you want to check out Esplendido's. Esplendido's Pizza and Taco, serving a restaurant-quality meal 
In a carryout form, right there. They're on 23 and mound, and uh, Mark, we missed our Escondidos. Yes, we did. We certainly did. We were did. late, and we missed it, and uh, we didn't get any. So uh, we got room for dinner tonight. So we're ready to go here. 6:44 remaining. No score here in the first quarter. The guys and our Eagles in the Henry Ford High School Trojans. Right here at Barney Swinehart Field for the regional championship for Division I, Region 4. That goes uh, Joe to Georgia. He fires off for Tynan. Way wide. It goes incomplete. So the Eagles will be forced to punt here. Merriweather will be deep as he broke up the pass with Tynan all the way. Not a real heavy wind today, Tim. It's basically blowing northwest sort of in our face, but maybe five to seven to 10 miles an hour. Jason Crawford with a kick. It's a wobbly one towards the corner. Takes a bounce and stops right there. Down to Giorgio. Body touched it there. Bounced to Merriweather. He picked it up and uh, picked up by Merriweather. Yes, it didn't touch him. The first and ten, uh, Henry Ford from their 11th. We'll see it again here. Well, I tell you what, the real, very slippery. Watch John here. See, he comes up. Oh, look at that. He just slides. Looked like it hit him, though. It did hit him. That's where they marked the ball. The Trojans now with 631 left to go in the first quarter. They get their chance here. Second chance of the game. I got to wait. Give it to Radney. Uh, he can't get around uh, Shane Karate in there with John DiGiorgio. Well, getting back to John Radney, not only does he have 1,100 yards rushing this year, he runs the 100 meters in 10.7 seconds. So he's got some wheels, and if he breaks free, it's going to be goodbye. Yeah, that's what the Trojans trying to do here. Is Lost him in the yard on that play. Second down to 11. Trying to get outside. That's Wilson. He's looking deep. Find it back there. Caught out there by number seven, Jonathan Orr. Jonathan Orr, 6'3", 175 pounds, had the size differential against the DB that time, went up and snatched it out of the air. He is also the city 400-meter champion, so good speed at that wideout position. They went up there again. It looked like Tynan had a beat on that ball, but Orr timed it perfectly. Yes. Nice athletic move. That moves the ball up to the Trojan 43-yard line with 535 left to go in the first. No score here. What do we got here? We got officials timeout. It's problem with the chain again. We had that problem last week, didn't we? Certainly did. Don't know what that's. Uh... You know, I'd like I'd like to take this time for the entire Shelby Lions football program. That's the tackle and the flex programs for thanking Eisenhower for letting us use the field last week for the playoff situation that happened out there. The field was in excellent condition. There was a lot of support, and it was a very successful event. So thank you, Eisenhower High School. And we had that game before on Shelby TV. The freshman, I believe, was the only team to make it into the playoffs. Both leg teams won their playoff games, and then the freshmen made it in. They the finished second, side. yep, and the varsity and the reserve didn't make it into the playoff situation. They took the top four teams and let them play against each other. Super Bowl weekend is tomorrow, and that'll be played over in Royal Oak. Yeah, you think they would have <laughs> changed picks by last week. Well, the chain that broke, yeah, they're fixing it right now. Can't blame that one on soccer, Mark. No. They don't use chains. <laughs> no. You know, the other thing is, is the winner of this ball game today is going to be playing over at Birmingham Groves next weekend. 
I talked to one of their coaches about that turf over at Groves, or one of the uh, Henry Ford coaches, and he didn't like it. He says it's still conducive to knee injuries, and uh, uh, even this, this fine of uh, uh, technology as it is, with the longer grass, it still can't get you injured. It still catches you. Setback is Jeff Atkins for Wilson Anderson. He gets the football, boxes it outside, got the running room to Georgia over there, makes a tackle. But Atkins picks up six there on first down. Second down and four for the Trojans. The Eagles try to keep the Trojans bunched in the middle. Don't want them to get outside. No. Keep them in the mud. Keep them in the middle. Tyna comes up and we got a hit there made by the Georgia. Tyna came up, uh, made the initial stop. We got a flag on the play. We got holding, uh, looks like holding against uh, Henry Ford. So that'll uh, take him back a few yards. Well, Ford ran the same play two times in a row. First time for six yards, second time for just a couple. Offensive holding on that right tackle is going to put that ball back. Uh, second down position, second and long, about 12, 13 yards right now. Second and 13. Ball will be at the Trojan 40-yard line. Now out goes Atkins. In comes uh, Radney, number one. Atkins had a big game last week against Detroit King. Yeah, they jumped out on uh, Detroit King 14 zip right off the bat and held on in that game. Now they got Orr isolated over uh, with Ken Wilson. It's a shotgun. Back goes Wilson. It's a screen pass. Here comes to Giorgio. Busts through there. Makes a attempt at a tackle. Misses. Tynan finally smacks uh, Andre Bell, but not before Bell picks up about eight yards. It'll be third down and five. You know, that play was set up very well, and you had John go out there and miss the tackle, one of the very few he's going to miss on the season. And yeah, they missed the block on him. You know, they had three guys out there, and neither one of those guys blocked him. No, nope, he got three, missed the tackle, but there was great recovery by the defense to hold that play down. It looked like it was going to go somewhere. Third down again for the Trojans. Hustle it out of there. All right, give his two number one ready. Makes a move. Looks like he's got the first down. And he does. Into Eisenhower territory John Rabbi, at the 45. The tackle there by John DiGiorgio again. John DiGiorgio coming over and making the play. Clock continues to run with 3.23 left to go here in the first quarter. No score. Now head off in there to number three, Atkins. Eight powers ahead for a couple. Second down and eight. Nice, nice day for November 11th. It's about 50 degrees out. It was warmer when the sun was here, but we really haven't had bad weather for a game this year, Tim. Anderson breaks him out of it. Give this to number three, Atkins. He's running hard. He's close to a first down. Tackle there by Jeff Hartman. It'll be third down and a yard and a half. The Trojans right now are doing a pretty good job of running that clock. They've had it since six and a half minutes on their second possession, and they're just grinding this game out right now on the ground. Third down and one for the Trojans. Back to field is Kendrick Wright with uh, Atkins. He just to him. He uh, powers ahead. Close to that first down. Looks like he's got it. Tackle there by Shane Karate. First down at the Eisenhower 34 yard line for Henry Ford. Someone from the defense needs to step up and cause a turnover and get this ball back. Henry Ford doing a good job of ball possession. Minute 45 up to go in the first. 
Atkins the well set back. Give it to him, trying to go around the right side. Tackle there by number 57, Adam Carr. He gets a couple. A couple of the 31. Second down is uh, seven for Henry Ford. Eagles defense needs to step it up here. Timeout. Timeout called by Henry Ford as Wilson Anderson. Not sure that he wanted to run that play, and they want to talk it over and get their uh, get their story straight. Make sure everybody knows which way they're going. Well, both teams have used one timeout, at least two to go, so they can use them wisely. It's called time management, timeout management. We got a minute and three left to go in the first with no score, but uh, Henry Ford, the Trojans, uh, threatening here. They have a ball in the Eisenhower 31-yard line. There you see some of the Eisenhower faithful out here today, bundled up. Gave up tickets to the Michigan Penn State game today. This, I came to see a better football game. There you go. Trojans from the wishbone. Pitch out to Ranny. Around the left side. Got some blocking. Runs into no blockers. Finally pushed out of bounds. Uh, Finoni pushes him out of bounds. Yeah, he's he's uh, brings the ball in the 26 yard line. It'll be third down and two for Trojans. They brought everything but the kitchen sink on this. Two guards, two lead backs. And trying to get the corner, they get about five yards out of the play. Great block right there and a push out of bounds there. Just a lot of people out there for Henry Ford leading the way. Again for the wishbone. Quarterback State. He's going to be close. Initial hit in there by Adam Carr. Wilson Anderson on the keeper. They do stop the clock with 45 seconds left to go in the first quarter. They're going to measure this. It's going to be short. They're going to be about a foot short. You don't know. They line up the cricket. <laughs> Especially since I lined them this morning, right? Yeah, we'll see what I'll hit. The measurement there. You see it. They're about... Yeah, about, about six inches short. Well, this is fourth down. We need to stop here by this defense. Someone to penetrate, get into that quarterback, and get that ball back for the offense. Going to run out of the wishbone. Don't be surprised to see Wilson Anderson sneak it again. Yeah, he does. Uh, he's close. We'll see where they mark it, folks. He may have had it on that one. All you got to do is lead forward, Mark. Well, I tell you what, he got underneath John DiGiorgio. John came flying over the top, did a somersault in midair. If he'd have had him met on, it wouldn't have gone anywhere. Watch Johnny go over the top right there. We're going to measure it again. Official timeout for measurement. To me, it looks like he has it, right? Got about the length of a football. First down, Ford in the Eisenhower territory at the 24 with 34 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. Yeah. 
from the wishbone. The reverse to number 10, Bell. He's got the runner around the left side. And Harper comes up, makes the hit on him. Gain of five for Bell. Number 10, Andre Bell. Down to the 19-yard line, second down and five. A lot of offensive weapons for this team. Nice ball fake right there off their normal dive play. Bell comes around the end and engaged five yards. I thought that was a good recovery by Hartman. I thought he was going to go longer than that. And that's the end of the first quarter with a score. The Eisenhower Eagles nothing and the Henry Ford Trojans nothing. We'll be back with more football right after this. Insurance companies don't want you anymore. With an Allstate agent, you can still get a second chance. Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Tim Meyer along with Mark Heinball here in the Shelby TV Sports Special. The Eisenhower Eagles and the Henry Ford Trojans in this regional championship game, Mark. And this is the 14th play of that Trojan drive, and it's down at the Eisenhower 19-yard line. We're second down and five for the Trojans. Give an inside handoff to Atkins, and he's close to a first down, about a yard short. Tackle there by Fanoni. Well, the key to that whole entire first period was Henry Ford Trojans had the ball for eight of the 12 minutes. Third down and one. Anderson brings him up. They give his to Atkins again, and he's he's hit, but he falls forward. Looks like he got a first down. It's close to it. They're going to stop it again and take another measurement. Henry Ford averaging just over three yards a carry, about three and a half yards a carry, which if you run the ball three times, that's a first down. They've had one big pass play, and they've just been grinding it out on the, on the ground. Um, the linebackers are making a lot of tackles for Eisenhower, which means that offensive line is doing a really good job of blocking the defensive line, which has been very strong for Eisenhower all season long. Yeah, it looks like he's got it. First down for the Trojans at the Eisenhower 14-yard line. Ball at the Eagles 14-yard line, first and 10. Andre Bell, the lone wide receiver to the right, from the wishbone. Anderson goes. Pitch out to Randy, trying to go around the right side. Cuts it in, and he'll gain about four yards. Randy, the ball carrier. Stop by number 12, Karate. Make it five down to the nine. It'll be second and five. Shane Karate on that hit. Five. Number 51, Jawan Kenny. This, this side guard, 6'3", 245 pounds, leading on that sweep. I tell you what, he hammering people. Wow. Just inside the second quarter, 10-20 left to go here in the half. No score, but the Trojans are threatening. Give is to Atkins again. He chugs ahead for about three yards to the 11. Third down and two. Third down and two. Looks like they're going to go to their spread offense. That's two down territory, Mark, really. Yep. Going to the boat, going to the power eye right now. And again, it's to uh, Atkins. Looks like he's got close to the first down. See where they mark the football. It'll be short. It'll be fourth down. Tackling it by five. 
Uh, this is not a big decision for Henry Ford. Coach Marshall's going for this one right now. He's not going to take three points. I watched her place kicker kick before the game. He's going for the first down right now. And if they, even if they stop him, they uh, still have uh, Eisenhower hem deep. Come on, defense. So here we go. Pitch out over the head of Randy and Colson. Randy, it looked like he ran the wrong way, Mark. He certainly did. He turned the wrong way. And the, he turned left. The play went right. Bad pitch. Eisenhower's ball. Ball Fanoni falls on him. The Eagles got a break, too, because as you see the ball landing there on the 13-yard line, it's a far cry better than if they would have stopped him up the middle at the six. So a little bit of breathing room for Eisenhower. Tony Giorgio from the shotgun. Up the middle he goes. Grab there. Powers ahead. Holding on for dear life for the Trojans is Robert Jackson, number 59. And uh, Ken Wright also making the tackle, a uh, gain of nine for the Giorgio. It'll be second down and one. And see Paul Fanoni made the play there on Randy there for the fourth down turnover. Giorgio, he's got a little bit of room, breaks one tackle, puts his head down. He'll take a first down to the 25-yard line. i tell you what, the Eagles offense had the ball for four minutes there in the first half. Only one possession and one drive. They moved the ball out pretty well, ran out of downs on the on the long pass, the, the incomplete on the sideline. And this offense looks like it's got some pep to it. They need to keep the ball in their position for a while. Now the Eagles with three wide receivers. John and Giorgio and Chris Hoover on the backfield. Tiny comes in motion. They give to Hoover. He's around left side being dragged and tangled up there. Hoover the ball carrier. The tackle there by number 44, Van Cooper. Gain of one for Chris. See it again here. Chris's back is feeling much better than last week. Remember last week he missed about half the ball game on the sideline trying to get stretched out. Much better this week, seen the chiropractor and been doing some exercises and feels better. Sorry, that was right on that tackle on Hoover. Ward Sean Blitz, here they come. Georgia's pass is tipped and incomplete it goes. Robert Jackson maybe had a chance at that. Third down and nine. Well, that time defensively, Henry Ford pretty much 10 of the 11 guys in the box. One guy out there defensively man on man, and ball got batted down. That would have been a complete pass. DB gave the wide out a lot of room. What it could have, should have, yeah? Yep. Ball on the 23 of Eisenhower. Jordan Georgia from the shotgun. Trojans fall back and pass coverage. Giorgio makes a move, goes around one man, but he is not going to get away from number eight, Ken Wright, who makes the tackle. It'll be fourth down and about four to go. The Eagles will punt it away here. That was a coverage, coverage situation. No one was open. Joe took the ball and put it under and tried to get the first down, came up short. Fourth down. Jason uh, Crop is running away for Eisenhower. Good snap. Kick is up. It's a high one. Let's tackle by Beachel. Finally tackled up there by number 37, Daniel Kilazinski. Kilazinski, rather. With a flag on the play. I think we're going to have a clipping on uh, Darian Fuqua. Yeah, that's a clip. That certainly moves them out of field position. It's a 15-yard penalty. We'll see it again right here. Well, you saw him fly through there, but... 
Ball's going to be back to the 30-yard line of Henry Ford. 6.20 left to go. We got a dandy here. No score. We're in the second quarter. The Eisenhower Eagles, Henry Ford Trojans, battling away here. Wilson Anderson with Radney, his lone setback. Thank you. Uh, the give is to Orr. He's hemmed in. Finally, the Eagles do get him behind the line of scrimmage. Looks like uh, Ken Starr over there, along with Shane Karate. That's like Carr, Karate. Loss of two. It'll be second down and 12. And this is the first second down and 12 they've had in a while. Everything they've had pretty much has been positive yards on just about every play. I think there's been three plays where they've been thrown for losses. Yeah, rush them up to the line. Back to throw. Look, at got a man deep down there. Wilson. He beats him, and it's caught out there by number seven, Jonathan Orr. As Wilson just went back there, and he just heaved it, Wilson Anderson. And it's first and ten, Henry Ford at the Eisenhower 26-yard line. Well, Kenneth Wilson is 5'7". Orr is 6'3". Do the math. Uh, he just threw it up, oh, way up there. Yep. Great arm. Back is a setback. Give it to him. Got a little hole around the right side. Tackle there. Action. Falls forward for five. Just up over the line. Tackle there by John DeGiorgio again. Go, 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 go. Again, this offense, run, 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 run. Throw about a 40-yard pass, come back, and then keep pounding it again. Second and five. Ball on the Eagle, 23-yard uh, line. Anderson over center. They'll give it to uh, Atkins again. Atkins the ball Tackle there at the 20. Be short of that first down. Some star in on that play. Be third down and three. Good hard running. John DeGiorgio had over his ankle, was not letting that one go. Tell you what, Atkins, good, powerful runner in the middle. He likes going between the tackles. Again, Atkins, a little setback. It's a football. A little bit of room. Uh, dives ahead forward. He's close to the first down. Bartman got him underneath. I think he's got it. That offensive line for, for Henry Ford is getting off the ball and making contact first right now. They're winning the line of scrimmage. First and 10, Trojans at the Eagles 16 yard line. Clock continues to tick with 4.09 left to go in the second quarter. No score. Again, Skyler Hunter, the lone wide receiver. Well, now he's joined by Jonathan Orr. They give us a hang. It's going around that left side. Got about four on that play. Second and six. Ball on the 12-yard line of Eisenhower. Just come out, two wide receivers. Jackson makes a nice cut, but uh, cut right back into Joe Silveri's arms. Joe makes a tackle. Third down and six. Number 53, Nate Kenny, is their offensive center. He is 5'10", 165 pounds. Uh, he's not very big, but I tell you what, he's doing a lot of chop blocking in there. Getting down into the Eisenhower thigh pads and into their knees and they're not getting anywhere. Now Robert Sarah makes the play and it bubbles the ball. That 
ball is down. Robert Sarris with a sack all the way back to the Eagle 16 yard line. I mean, uh, yeah, 16 yard line. Be fourth down. They're going to try a field goal here with the number 18, Ethion, Ethion, Ethion. Look at here, Tim. No one to pass to. Had to pull the back ball back down. That's the sack of Kurt. There was excellent defensive coverage that time. Dante Barnes with the hole. Ball's down. Ethion's kick is good. And the Trojans lead it with two minutes left to go in the half. Three to nothing. Good. That's going to bring our score. Eisenhower zero. Four to three. Two minutes left to go, and uh, we talked to uh, their coaches before the game. He is a uh, all PSL kicker, Ethion Ethion. He bangs it through. It's like uh, 31 yards, was it, Mark? 34 yards out. 34 yards out. Again, two two possessions for Henry Ford. Grind the ball, a long pass. Grind the ball. The defense bends, but it doesn't break. They come up with a stop. Only gave up three points that time. So just a three nothing ball game. This is an incredibly fast game. I think we've seen two flags so far, but this game is moving right along. with a kick, a little line drive shot. Goes to Wilson at the 15. Nice block that, John. Got a good block in. Up to the 31-yard line goes Wilson. Tackle there by number 25, James Velighty. Not much of a kick, but I tell you what. Watch this block by John DiGiorgio that allows some more yardage on that return by Wilson. The Eagles trying to get it going on offense. They've been stymied pretty much the whole rest of the day. The whole day, rather. Georgia from the shotgun. Got a little running room. To the left side. Ball forward to the 48-yard line. First down, Eisenhower. Clock will stop at a minute 46 left to go. And we got a flag on the play. Got a clip against Eisenhower. Wow. Where is the flag? Did you see the flag, Tim? Uh, I haven't seen it. I, it had to have been in front of the bench because uh, I did not see it. Well, it was a point of infraction, so it still is first and first to 10. It, been towards the end of that play. So I would say it's probably been a wide receiver. Probably would have been down right in front of us here. So minute 35 and counting. Tackled right there immediately by Darian Prequa. Gain of six for, sorry, five for Hartman. It'll be second down at five. Clock's rolling. I cast two timeouts left to use here in the next minute of this ball game. They break out of it. Go to Georgia. Go from the shotgun. They'll run it. Not much there. A couple yards. Tackled there by. Number 44, Cooper. Third down. The Eagles going into the two-minute offense. Fires out there for Tiny. He's got it. To the 50, to the 48-yard line. 29 seconds. 29 seconds. The first down. Clock stops. Timeout, Eisenhower. Tim, we, we need about 20 yards. Nice nice pattern here by Tynan. Lots of room. Uh, the defense wanted to keep the ball in front of them. First down. But you've got Griswalski sitting there warming up right now. Need 20 yards. I would say at least. Uh, 
That wind's kind of uh, in his face, a little bit of a crosswind going. Need a good 20 yards, get in some field goal position. A couple plays, call a timeout, go in at half, 3-3. Three, three. See the Eisenhower cheerleaders trying to fire up those eagles. Terry Capace out there, making sure everybody knows which way they're supposed to go. You know, it's that time of girls' basketball season where the season is just about over, and they're going to be starting the state tournament here pretty quick. Uh, 19, 20 games have been played so far, so get out and see your local Eisenhower Eagles girls' basketball team finish up the season going into the tournament. Eagles, three wides to the right side. Giorgio, a little snap. He's got it, though. Fires out of it. Open. Got a man. It's Giorgio is behind him, and he's hit there by number 20, Dante Barnes. But uh, John was open. The ball was a little behind him, but I think that was because Joe was moving. Yes. Look at him dance. He dances up, grabs his feet, doesn't get set. Through on the run. A little bit behind John. Need to put it on the other side of him. Oh, here we go. Second down and 10 for Eisenhower. Incomplete pass stops the clock, still 24 seconds left. This defense allowed, uh, averages only six points allowed for the whole year, so. They're a solid team, they're a very good team. Let's go it. Giorgio fires out there for Harper, way over his head. To Giorgio's pass, incomplete. Third down. Third down is set for Ivan Allen. 19 seconds left to go in the first half. Hartman was open on that play. Matter of fact, he ran a, a deep out, and there was a short out. Both were open. Joe chose the longer one and just threw it wide. And he needs to hit those guys. Giorgio being rushed. Fires a deep. Got Hartman back there. <laughs> well, that was a little wrestling match for that ball, Tim. I tell you, no flag. Kevin Hartman, a timeout, Eisenhower, 12 seconds left. Both, both players going back there fighting for that ball. Could have gone either way if there had been a flag thrown. Check that first and 10 ball marks to the 11 yard line. Hangs the ball up. Hartman turns around, has inside position. Look at that. Little push off. And they're both tangling up with First each other. First down. Could have gone either way. Good non-call. Both players fighting for position. You know, another thing I want to comment on. There are so many people here in the stands, not only from Eisenhower, but I've seen Chippewa Valley people. Romeo coach brought his whole entire football team over here. A lot of other fans from other schools coming to watch this ball game tonight. Back in these Eisenhower Eagles to victory today. Well, the Eagles got 12 seconds left, Mark. Probably time for one play into the end zone. Yes. Throw it to the end zone. Go for it. If not, bring in the bring in the leg and let him boot it in. This is only Eisenhower's third offensive possession in this game. I mean, they have not been on the field hardly at all. They've been on the field for a total of. Doesn't sound like. Joe to Georgia is running out there. It doesn't look like he's too sure on the play, but we will see. They've had the ball about eight out of the 20 minutes, 24 minutes. And that's it this half. Both teams hitting on big plays. He'll break out of it. Georgia back to throw. Put it in for Thurman. There he goes. They can play both the players miss time their leaps. Coverage out there by number nine, Mike Merriweather. And you can see both of them. Uh, I think Thurman got Merriweather to jump early, too. Yeah, he got to jump as well. They both were a little early. That goes incomplete. Seven seconds left. Ball just shy of the 10-yard line. I tell you what, seven seconds left is not a whole lot of time. 
I mean, you have to, you have to make a play and hope there's one second left on the clock. Right, uh, you have to get it into the end zone. That's for sure. The Eagles get no points out of it. The end of the first half, the Eisenhower Eagles. Right here, Joe DiGiorgio gets sacked. Trail the Henry Ford Trojan by a score of 3 to nothing. We'll be back with more football right after this. tickets or accidents. Some insurance companies don't want you anymore. With an Allstate agent, you can still get a second chance. Back, ladies and gentlemen, to this Shelby TV Sports Special. I'm Tim Meyer, along with Mark Heinbaugh. And Mark, uh, pretty close first half. Uh, the Trojans getting a field goal, 34-yarder from their kicker, Ephion Ephion, and they lead it three to nothing here. And they control the ball most of the way, Mark. They've had they, Eisenhower's had the ball about nine minutes of possession the first half. Henry Ford about 15. Yardage is almost even. Henry Ford around 145 yards total offense. Ike about 130. So not that much difference in the ball game right now. Effie Al will kick it off for Ford. Little pooch kick goes up the middle to Hoover. He picks it up. Now he gets around one man. It's a couple of moves. Tackle there at the 29 yard line by number 25, James Golighty. I tell you what, Hoover's carried the ball once, twice in the first half, that's it. They have never really gotten the running game to the outside open, which they utilize Hoover on. First and 10 from their own 29-yard line do the Eagles start. Hoover now in motion for Eisenhower. Pitch back to John Giorgio. He's got a little bit of running room. Puts his head down and falls forward for about two, three yards. Stopped by number nine, It'll be second down and seven for Eisenhower. Well, Coach Lance, he kept this team in at halftime a little bit longer than he normally does, trying to get things squared away and adjustments made for this second half. Now to Giorgio with China and Hartman on his left side and Thurman the wide receiver to his right give up the middle to Hoover and he's tackled nicely there good play by number eight Ken Drew Wright I tell you what, Henry Ford went into a six man line that time a six man front three linebackers nine guys in the box saying Eisenhower try and run at us because you can't third down and seven Giorgio brings him out. He'll go from the shotgun. Blitz is being shown by Ford. Here they come. Over the middle, got Hartman. First down, Eisenhower. Ball up to the 42-yard line. I tell you what, that passing play, that short passing game is open for Eisenhower. Joy just needs to have the time, settle in, get comfortable, and then deliver the pass. Too many times this season, I think he's gotten a little bit of happy feet, and he wants to get rid of the ball normally before he needs to. That time, nice and patient. First and ten, Eisenhower. 
ball uh, rests on their 43-yard line. John and Georgia, the lone setback. Let's come from the opposite side, picked up by Tiny. Giorgio throws it out there, looking for Hartman, his wide receiver, goes incomplete. Forced uh, by John Rabney, number one, as he came blitzing in from the right side. John had, Joey had no time to deliver that ball anywhere. The rush from the backside was just very fast and quick. Look at here. Boom, got rid of the ball. Safety blitz that time, too. Well, John Karate comes in the game for Chris Hoover. Something wrong with Hoover's equipment. He's not injured. And Giorgio. Second down and 10. Players out there for time. We got a flag. Uh, I believe he's going to call number six, Darian Fuqua, who was holding up Hartman. Well, he definitely pointed to the inside. And that is a first down. And I think it's only a five yarder, though. But spot of the penalty. Here we go. John goes back and looks. Well, more than that. First down, nice no, I was. It was. I think it was uh, Hartman was being held. Defensive holding. He was being held big time going over the middle by number six, Darian Fuqua. Because that didn't look like he really pushed him much. No, not on Tynan. It's the 10 eyes now. Give it to John and Giorgio, powering his way through the middle. Gets a couple of yards. Inside the 41 of Ford. Second down and eight. Now Hoover's back in the game. Two weeks in a row now, Eisenhower has played very, very good, solid defensive teams. Last week, Troy Athens. This week, Henry Ford. And both those defenses won last week. This week, very fast, very quick. Second down. Eight for Eisenhower. Comes tied in in motion. Back goes to Georgia to throw. Looking out there. We got a flag here. Yeah. Couple flags. Flag and a flag. Oh, a face mask. Face mask, Henry Ford. Right? He's grabbing pretty good there. That's an excellent play by Melvin Bender, number 11. We'll see it right here. Linebacker. Mark. He's just, he's a 6'2", 190 pound senior. And this is the beauty of slow motion instant replay. Great camera work, everybody. Right there's the mask. Right, right there. there. And it was inadvertent because he only had it for a little bit of time. From the spot of the foul, keep the loss from being too big. Make it second down at 11. Henry Ford calls a timeout with 9.22 left in the third period and not bad field position. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Eagles will be on the 44 of Ford. We start up 9.22 left to go in the third. Well, you've had two big penalties now against this defense. One was a pass interference, and that time it was on the face mask. If I'm Coach Marshall, basically I'm telling my kids, think about what you're doing out there, focus. We can't afford penalties and mistakes. You played a great first half, pretty much mistake-free. You're winning three to nothing. Let's let's play smart football out there. There you see Joe DiGiorgio, who's... Very important for him to be on track for Eisenhower today. Yes, very much. And we have yet to see Chris Hoover break one, or even get close to breaking one. They haven't got the ball much today. No. They've been working him in the slaughter back in the shotgun position. Oh, snap. Gets the Hoover pass. Take the pass. Place. That's an incomplete pass. That's an incomplete pass. No. Well, they're going to call that ball down on a fumble, and they are not going to 
conclude that as a forward pass, which will put it back to the line of scrimmage, third and ten. That play was wide open. If that pitch could have got to Johnny, there was a lot of running room on that play. Proper call just got mixed up. I have to ask, execute. And, uh, be third down for Eisenhower. Third down, I got to get to the 34 of fourth. Georgia will feel the pressure. Now he moves up. Right through. He's to the 30. 25. 20. 10. 5. Down at the 4 yard line. Body tackle there by number 6, Darian Fuqua. Well, that's the dangerous person that Joe can be as a scrambler. I mean, he should have been tackled twice. Broke free and got down. Excellent, excellent play. That is what he can bring to this offense. You'll see it here as he breaks that first tackle. Got a little help from the referee, but he's got to, the referee's got to stand somewhere, I guess. Right there where he breaks the tackle of number, looks like 59, Robert Jackson, and it's off to the races. Joey almost scoring. First and goal, Eagles from the four. Oh, no. Yeah, I think uh, Joe Silveri blew the snap count. Flag in the flag. <laughs> but he thought it was Duffy on the quick. That puts them five. That's a big. That's a big penalty for this offense. I mean, that totally changes your play selection. No first and goal from the nine instead of first and goal from the four. Wow. First and goal out of Eagles. Joey uh, Silveri jumping the gun there. Eight oh three left to go in the third quarter. Ford leads it three to nothing. Mr. John and George, he makes a cut inside, but he's not going to go anywhere. Nope. Stepped up there by number eight, Ken Drew Wright. I'll give it to John and George, you No second down. No footing on that play whatsoever. Right. Uh, he's trying to make a cutback, and that allowed Wright to set himself in defense and cover. Georgia with the snap, give it to Hoover. And he's tackled there by number eight right again. Two All plays in a row, he's made penetration and made the stop. Outstanding defense. Back to by number eight, right. The third and goal, all the way back to the 15-yard line. Well, that was definitely student body right for Hoover, and he scored how many touchdowns and how many yards off that play? An excellent defense by Henry Ford. And you see Wright come through there, makes a beautiful tackle. Bring him up. It was a giant of Jojo. He's trying to go back to his brother. Tackle there, there for right again. All the way back to the 25. Well, there were no safeties on that play. Safeties were at linebacker position. Linebackers were up. Everyone was there. And I tell you what, good defensive standby for Henry Ford. That was going to be a pass back to Joe. Well, Wright is allowed to run free out there. And he is the, uh, can create some havoc. So now we got a 42-yarder being attempted by Mike Griswalski. Finan is the holder. Snap the kick is down. The kick is up. If it's just long enough. And it's no short. Good. No good. So the Trojans hold. And they maintain a 3 nothing lead over the Eisenhower Eagles. Eisenhower had the ball six minutes in that possession and came up short all the way down to the four, stumbled back to the 25, and Griswalski just didn't get the footing to get that one through. So the Trojans with 5.51 left to go here in the second, uh, third quarter, lead it three to nothing. With a defensive stop, and you probably personally congratulate number eight, Kendrew Wright. On a shotgun, they give us to Randy. Comes in, Hartman's there, he slips and falls, and Hartman's got it for a loss. 
defensive change out to Eisenhower, number 13. Joe DiGiorgio is now playing cornerback on number seven, Jonathan Orr. Second out and long. About 12 to go for Ford. Charles just break out of it. Wide out. Or and his brother Or. And he goes screen. Or just trying to get him to break it up and uh looks like a first down for Bell. Northern Georgia got over there. He's close. We'll see what they mark. Now, a little bit short. Third down. About a yard. Third and one. Benoni's shaking on that play. Got up real slow. He's standing on the sideline, setting this one out. Let's see. Uh, that's a big, uh, big collision here. Big third down play for the Trojans. They hustled up to the line. Oh, we got uh, number 51, Jawan Kenny. Looks like he jumped a little early. But Jawan's going to cost some five yards on this play. That's going to make it third and seven versus third and two. Finale back in the ball game. Ball will go back to the 24. They have to get to almost the 31. Third down and a long six for Ford. <laughs> Tell you what, I got to experience being on the chain gang four times this year for flag football, and it's a blast. You're right on top of the field. You're moving with the officials. You hear everything that's going on. In the pros, that's a job to die for. So here comes uh, Ford. Oh, Anders, he's being tied up by FQ. No, that's Robert Serra. Robert Serra on the sack all the way back to the Trojan 16-yard line. Robert Serra stayed at home, fought off the, tap, the blocker, and was able to make that play. Put some fourth and long and should give Eisenhower some good field position. And that's the first time this defense has shut that offense down this quick. Now uh, Joe to Georgia will go deep as the punt return for Eisenhower. Punting for four, number 12, Jericho Rock Taylor. Standing at about the three. Low snap, he gets it off though. Line drive kick. Go to Georgia, going to take it out of 45 to the 40. And out of bounds, he'll go. To the 34 yard line goes Joe to Georgia. Will be first and 10 Eisenhower with a great field position. Eisenhower having to put one through here in this possession, I'm sure, Mark. They they need to put get some, some points. Got to put some points on the board. They've had two opportunities. Came up short both times. There he goes break out of it. John and Georgia a little setback. Pitch out to John and Georgia. Got some blockers. On that right side, out of bounds he goes. Gets to about the 30. Gain of four. And that's okay. If this offense can get four yards every play, they're going to score. Second down and a long six for Eisenhower. They had the blocker, just didn't have the room on that side. Came short side. Staying away from the middle of the field. Way off the guy, John DeGiorgio breaks through, keeps his head down, still running, and down he'll go, close to a first down at the Henry Ford 22-yard line. Good individual effort. You cannot arm tackle these running backs in this ball game. Couple arm tackles, John kept his legs moving. First down. First down, Eisenhower, ball on the 22-yard line of Ford. 3.40 left to go here in the third quarter. 
Uh, the Trojans lead it three to nothing over Eisenhower. And Joey DiGiorgio bringing him up again. Give it to Jorge, he's got a hole on the left side, but it calls him quickly, but he stays on his feet. Now to the 16-yard line goes John to Giorgio. Little backside trap that worked very well for him. Got about five, six yards on that play. Offense is now moving the ball. Second down and five for Eisenhower. 250 left to go in the third. They trail it by three. Giorgio, the low setback, he gets the pitch. Got a good steal block. Got a good block there. Got tangled up with his blocker, Goomel. Still falls forward for a couple. Third down and three. John trying to cut that ball in the last two times. He's lost his footing. To me, after I do that a couple of times, I say, look, I just got to take it outside and get what I can get. And keep going forward. I want to get it closer, give uh, Mr. Grzlowski another chance at it. Oh, absolutely. Back goes the Georgia to throw. And got it. Watch it up for his brother. It's over everybody's head. Wow. That play was wide open, too. Very wide open. fourth down at four. Here comes Grzlowski again. Fourth down. This time he'll have a 33 yarder. He'll go for a little better footing, I think. For him, but the angle's a little tougher. 33 yards out. Tying in the holder. Ball is down. Kick is up. And. No good. Kick is up and wide left. Wide left. Again, the Trojans hold the Eagles. One, five, three left to go here in the third. They hold Eisenhower again with no points. And they'll take over on their own 20-yard line. That's part of being a kicker. You're the lone man out there. You've got the foot. You're the one putting it through, and it doesn't go through. He's missed two. Now he's thinking over there on the sidelines. What am I doing wrong? Side hand off the Atkins. He's not going anywhere. Maybe a yard on that play. Atkins, the ball Not a yard. Second down at nine. Second down at nine. Hoover working on loosening up that back again. Must still be bugging him, Tom. Now he's going to get about uh, action. I mean, it can get a little uh, tight. Hey! Wilson Anderson bringing him up for the center. Back to throw. Drops the football. Still got it. Lafrati goes after him and will tackle it for a loss down to the 10-yard line. I tell you what, Henry Ford is giving Ike every opportunity to capitalize in this ball game. Uh, a fumble by the quarterback and a nice sack puts him third and long. Now the defense has to clamp down. The, the Eagle defense playing ferociously here against the powerful Trojan offense, averaging over 33 points a game this year in the PSL. They are a force to be reckoned with. Just a lot of team speed on both sides of the ball. They execute very well. Uh, two wide receivers out to the left. Shotgun goes uh, Anderson. He's going to throw it. He's going to fire it out for Orr. He makes a catch. Short. He's short of the first down. About five, four yards short of the first down. Now, Jonathan Orr needed to know where that first down marker was, and he needed to run past that marker and then come back to the ball. He didn't get far enough downfield. You've got a fourth down situation, and that sometimes happens with these young high school kids is they don't get where they need to go. 
I think it was going to force uh, Ford to punt. Ball is on the Ford 33. Joe DeGeorge will be deep. Looks like they're missing a person out there. Let's see what back to punt for Ford is Taylor, Jericho Taylor. There it is. That'll move back five more yards. 23 seconds left to go in the third mark. Yeah, that was a delay of game. That moves them back five more yards. And the, the punting game right now is not a good good thing for Henry Ford. They haven't gotten a good one. And Eisenhower's going to get great field possession again. Georgia still deep. Taylor to kick it. Now he fumbles it. Oh, my goodness. Eisenhower looks like they've got it. Where the ball will be anyway. Now what do we got here? In other words, stay away from me. The ref is saying stay away. He wants they want to confer and find out what they want to do with this call. I mean, it doesn't matter. It was four down, right? You got a flag on the play. Right. And the ball never went back to the the kicker on the snap. Nice ponytail there on the referee. <laughs> got to notice these things once in a while. Let's see what this is all about. The illegal procedure. Yeah, because he moved the football. Still four down, though. And that's moved them back 10 yards now in the last two plays. So that negates really a lot of it. That's 10 yards of field position. It's been a wild one here this third quarter. Man. <laughs> 20 seconds left to go. Taylor will get another shot at it. I tell you what, th th this this special team right here has a tendency of blocking punts, Tim. Well, they're smelling a little bit here. Comes to Giorgio. Got a kickoff to uh, Joey to Giorgio. He's at the 40. Makes a move. He's to the 35 and hit pretty hard and knocked down there. At the 30-yard line goes Joe to Giorgio. The Eagles will start out first and 10. Got 10 seconds left here in this third period. Time for a play, I believe. Uh, then we'll switch to the other side. This now, field with the weather has never had a chance to dry. Joey couldn't even cut on that play. But both teams are playing under the same conditions. We've got uh, 10 seconds left to go in the third. Eagles taking a shot at it here. Back goes to Georgia to throw. Fires out for Hoover. Hoover makes a catch. And Hit first by Wright and gets back to uh, Georgia's pass complete to Hoover. Maybe a half yard. That'll be the end of the third quarter with the Stop score. The Henry, Henry Ford Trojans Ford. three, the Eisenhower Eagles nothing. We'll be back with more football right after this. tickets or accidents. Some insurance companies don't want you anymore. With an Allstate agent, you can still get a second chance. here for fourth quarter action. Tim Meyer along with Mark Heinball here. This regional final between the Eisenhower Eagles and the Henry Ford Trojans. Tell you what, if there's one player defensively in this game that has risen head and shoulders above anybody else, it's been number eight, Kendrew Wright from Henry Ford. He's played an outstanding game. 
The Georgia from the shotgun now. Second down and nine. Ford showing blitz. Here they come. Georgia rolls out and fires. He smacked pretty hard there by Wright again, who's all over the place. Wow. Put a lick on him. Third down and nine. Well, Joey definitely felt that one. Never had time to set his feet. Get that throw off. Threw it short. Here we see it. Right, come right in there. Give him one right on the smacker. Wow. Drove him right off his feet. Timeout Eisenhower. Yeah, I think Joey's a little bit... A little bit shook up a little bit. Hey, this is a good time for you to uh, think about getting some food for after the game, Mark. And I can think of no better place than Esplendido's. And I know you're going to be hungry after the game because you didn't get the free game meal in. So That's right. Pizza and tacos right there serving a restaurant-style meal, a quality meal in a carry-out form right there at Esplendido's. Delicioso. Well, you have 11.57 left here in this ball game. Eisenhower is down three points. You're at the 30-yard line. That makes a 47-yard field goal attempt right now. You're 0 for 2 in that department with a pretty slippery field, not good footing. You need to get about 10 more, five, get five more yards on this next play and give Grzewalski another chance. I, he's going to come through. He's got to just put it out of his mind, focus, relax, do everything that he's done to get him here, and then boot it through. But you always have that option. Now the Eagles break out of it. Third and long again. It seems like they've been that way the whole day. Yes. Joe DiGiorgio from the shotgun. To staff back to throw. Fires over the middle. Got Hartman and he can't hold out of it. Covered there by Wright. I'm sorry, by Fuqua. It'll be fourth down. DiGiorgio's pass. He complete. Send it for Hartman. Program at number six, Fourth down at nine. See what Eisenhower's gonna do here. 11.53 left to go in the ball game. But Joey is a little off today with his pass. He's just not quite honed in. Well, he's got a big fourth down here. There'll be one person will be assigned to Joe DiGiorgio. And I bet that's that number eight. Trojan defense, wherever he goes, that defender will go. Three receivers on the left side for DiGiorgio. Back to throw. Sets his feet. Fires over. Got Hartman. He makes the catch. And he'll be first down. first down, Eisenhower. Nice pass, Joe. Joe rolled to his left. He seems to be having enough time. When he's rolling left, the line gives him the time. He set his feet and got the completion that time. And... It'll be first and ten Eisenhower ball on the Trojan 18. As you see, the Giorgio fire, and Hartman makes a nice catch going up. Tackle there by number nine, Mike Merriweather. Eagles knocking on the door here again. Fourth time this ball game. The Giorgio with a little bit of running room puts his head down and gets to the... Close to the 14-yard line, inside the 15 at least. Tackled uh, by number 55, Joseph Weeks also there. Second down and seven for Eisenhower. This has been an incredibly fast ball game. Here we are at 25 minutes to three, and we're into the fourth period of this game. Eagles bring it out. John and George on Hoover in the backfield. Georgia calling the audible. Give it to Hoover. Got a little bit of right room. Cuts it back. Maybe lost the yard on the play. The play was too slow to develop. The defense had a chance to recover. No gain on the play. It'll be third down at seven. Yeah, the defense came up and took away the corner. They penetrated through. Hoover had nowhere to go to the outside. He had to cut it back in. That was excellent defense that time. Eagles, 10:09 uh, up to go here. Trail it three to nothing. It's a regional championship game. 
Uh, Joe DiGiorgio back there with his brother John. Look it out there. Fires for Hartman. He's got it. Flag on the flag. Down. There's a flag. There is a flag down, folks. Hold on here. Sorry, we might have. Holding on the Trojans. That's a touchdown. Yeah, he's out of bounds at the four yard line. Well, that was an awesome catch. That was a great catch by Hartman that time. Two in a row. Five yard line. Five yard line, what they're going to call it. The defensive holding on that play. They have to ask the Eagles, they want the play to stand or the penalty. Well, they want the ball to five. Absolutely, you want the penalty. Well, you don't want the penalty, you want the ball at the five yard line. He stepped out of bounds at the five. Now they ref talking to John DiGiorgio. Now, the Eagles are going to decline that five yarder and take uh, the first down. First and goal at the five yard line for Eisenhower. First and goal for the Eagles at the five yard line. The Trojans have held them before from here, Mark. Well, this is a big series. We all, we're all standing up for this one. Got to get out of our chairs. Comes tight into motion. They bunched up there to give us a Johnny George. He puts his head down to the four to two. The one touchdown, touchdown. Eisenhower. They threw a house at the Ford defense, and John DiGiorgio ran behind it. And into the end zone goes he, and the Eagles now lead it 6-3. to three. You know, the Eagles have been down here four times. You can't keep them out of the end zone. They failed three times. They punched this one in. This is a reversal of the first half. Eisenhower has dominated the clock where Henry Ford hasn't. And the all-important extra point here by Mike Griswolski. Yeah, you need this one to go through. John Tynan will hold it for Eisenhower. Kreswalski sets himself. Back to the high one. The kick is up, though. That was good. And the kick is good. So the Eisenhower Eagles come back with a fourth quarter touchdown by John DiGiorgio and take the lead. 7-3 over the Henry Ford Trojans. And you see some excited Eagle fans there. Eisenhower again dominating this clock here in the third period. Henry Ford has had the ball for there's a minute. They've had the ball for three minutes since halftime. And that's how well. And that's a reversal of the first half. Mark. Absolutely. And, that, and that's what halftime's for. It's for adjustments. Make those adjustments and get your game going. So here comes Griswowski and the Eagle kick team and then. Eisenhower Eagle faithful dancing in the stands here. But it's not over yet. 9.44 left to go. Remember, the winner of this game plays next week at uh, Birmingham Groves, which is an AstroTurf type situation over there. Marvin Brandon and number nine, Mike Merriweather, are deep for Trojans. And I tell you, Coach Bob Lancey had his brother. He, Mike Griswolski, you put this ball in the end zone now, he'd be happy for that. Wide drive scooter kick. And they go to Merriweather at the 10. To the 15. Cuts it up to the left side. Got some room there. Oh boy. Look out. Griswolski again. Knocks him out of bounds. Goes Parati. But not before Merriweather gets it to the 42 yard line of Eisenhower. So the Trojans with excellent field position. He's touched the ball twice on kickoff returns and twice he just chewed up the field. <laughs> Well, we're now in the 41, first and 10 Trojans, and they got plenty of time left. 9.34 left to go in the ball game. Bottom is in the shotgun goes Wilson Anderson. Back to throw. Being Screen. chased. 
trying to screen over there, almost picked off and almost caught. Marvin Brandon was over there, but good read by Robert Sarah as he read screen and dropped back. Second down to Tim. I want, Tim, take a look at, at the shotgun. That shotgun area is about seven yards back. That's the deepest shotgun I have ever seen. He was moving before he got the ball back there. He was moving as the ball was in the air, moving backwards. When you're seven yards back, you've got to have a center that can deliver you the ball consistently. There we go. Two wide receivers there to the right side. That's an answer to throw. Makes it up. Now he'll fire deep. Wide Check open. There. Oh, I can't wait. Bell was wide open and he had it and couldn't hold on. Wow. I mean, you want to, you want to put Henry Ford into a passing situation. When you can do that, you've stopped their ground attack. And, and they threw a touchdown. Third and down, third down and ten is. FD is going to come out. Joseph is going to come in. Bell, just a sophomore, has got two more years to play. And he's a good one too. He ran a reverse earlier today. And six foot, 180 pound sophomore. Here we go, Wilson from the shotgun. Third ten. If he goes, looking deep. Fire down there, too far. Ahead of number nine, Mike Merriweather. Goes incomplete, it'll be fourth down. And a ten. Wilson Anderson can't throw the ball. That was about 55 yards in the air. So he has good arm strength. Timeout. I think the uh, Trojans want to time out and talk this over. I don't know if they're going to go for it. They may. Well, there's a lot of time left in this ballgame. I mean, there's over nine minutes to go, and, and they've thrown three straight passes, all incomplete. It seems to me there's enough time to keep your ground game going. Now, the big thing was is that, that Bell dropped that ball in the end zone. And touchdown. It was six points. Eyes in our brain trust going over it uh, there. They still got to stop the uh, board. During the uh, Utica Eisenhower football game, I was sideline reporter and allowed me to be on the field listening to the coaches during the game versus being up here and telling people what I see. And, and I tell you what, there's a fine coaching staff down there with a lot of football knowledge. And it, it certainly came out when I was listening to their tactical uh, discussions. So here they are. I wasn't surprised. Don't be surprised if they throw it deep like a, like a punt. Into the end zone for number seven, Orr. Bell and Orr on the same side. They both take off. Out and up. And Split. Wilson Anderson sacked there by Patrick Joseph Beck and Robert Sarah. All the way back to the Eagle. Or to their own 47-yard line. Well, that was an out-and-up pattern, and they were throwing it to number seven, Jonathan Orr, their speedster on the outside. But tell you what, Eagles' defense came out of everywhere, the woodwork, the side work, everywhere, and I tell you what, Wilson Anderson had no chance to deliver that ball whatsoever. Eagles take over now at their own 46-yard line with 9.13 left here, and this ball game leading 7-3 now as the offense takes over. Big sack by... Number 26, the junior, Patrick Josephek. Robert Serra also right in there, too. The Georgia with Hoover in the backfield. Pitch out to Hoover. Got some running room. Around the left side. Uh, he'll get about five yards. I tell you what, Hoover put his shoulder down and put a hit on number nine, Mike Merriweather. Drove him back with that shoulder pad. Second down and five for Eisenhower. Ball on the Trojan 41. Eagles offense is a step quicker right now. They believe in themselves. They're up 7-3. There's some excitement. The adrenaline tide is turning this game They're a little quicker. And a Ford defense has been on the field most of this uh, second half. Mark. Ford has a lot of two-way players. Play a lot of guys two ways. 
bunched up there. Give it to Hoover up the middle. He's hit. Bounces off the tackle by number 59, Robert Jackson. Falls forward for a yard. It'll be third down and four. Robert Jackson, an all PSL linebacker. Good, solid ball player. Put a hit on Hoover. Chris bounced off of him. Chris has excellent leg strength. I mean, he can deadlift 600 pounds because of those powerful legs. 8.05 left to go and counting here in the fourth quarter. Eagles lead it 7-3. It's very important that they sustain this drive. Now John DiGiorgio and Chris Hoover come out of it. Real tight in there in that four defense. Giorgio trying to bust through. He's got the first down. Wright was in there on a tackle, but not before Joe DiGiorgio got the first down for Eisenhower. All the way down to the Trojan 35. Joe saw a little bit of a seam there, took advantage of it. First down again. His running ability makes the difference. Eisenhower, very important that they keep this football out of the hands of the very explosive Trojan offense. Give us to Hoover. Breaks one tackle, but not two. Hit there by number 20, Dante Barnes. No gain on the play. Well, if you look at that Henry Ford defense, they have pretty much everybody in the box right now. And if someone's going to break through that line, it's going to be a touchdown because they're all up tight within three yards of the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Thurman, the only wide receiver, he's out to the right. Time to Giorgio and Hoover in the backfield, tying it in motion. Give it to John and Giorgio, trying to go around that left side. Got a little bit of room, finally knocked out of bounds. Got about four yards on a play. Third down and six for Eisenhower. Well, the one thing Ike does not want to do right now, they do not need a fumble nor an interception. No turnovers. You can see there, the Georgia got out of bounds, stopping the clock with 6.36 left to go in the fourth. Now to Georgia from the shotgun. Both snaps. Now what do we got? Flag on the Somebody may have moved early. Yeah, it's going to be against Eisenhower. Legal procedure. That'll make it third and 11. Well, that changes your play. Well, you got two ways to look at this. Number one, you can get the first down, and if you don't, number two, you pooch the ball down inside the five or inside the ten and play the field position ball game with leading seven to three with 6.30 left in the game. Third and 11 for Eisenhower. Go to Georgia over center. Georgia looking for Thurman. He's open. Throws it up there. Thurman's got it. With a big catch, first and goal, Eisenhower. Matt made a wonderful move, spun the DB around, got behind, Joe picked it up. Nice pass, threw it high enough to let him run underneath it. Eisenhower with in striking position again. This Eisenhower offense is wearing out that defense right now. Just wearing them down. The Chargers want timeout, and we'll see the play right here again, folks. Joe has plenty of time. The offensive line gives him a lot of time. And he's looking, 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 and he sets his feet. When he sets his feet, he's very accurate. Look at Merriweather's burnt already. Thurman with uh, good concentration there. Yes. Six seventeen left to go. Eisenhower leads at seven to three. 
We got a little shortstop on the water here. I guess we're sharing here with the bunker. There, I tell you what, there's some great guys of this bunker. They just take care of us all game long. Yeah. Popcorn, hot dogs, water. Smart comments, everything you want. Sunflower seeds. The super big gulp. Uh, that thing's 104 ounces. <laughs> you got the uh, yeah, you got the shooter up here with his big gulp, and he's got that steady finger on that clock trigger. So Hoover got it down to the four. The first and goal, Eisenhower. Eisenhower needs to capitalize and put this game away right now. That's a different formation as, as Hoover's a lone setback. Take to him. Giorgio keeps it. Now we got a flag. You know what that means? Usually a flag in that area means someone was holding. Yeah, you got to hold out there on the offensive line. That's what it is. Got to move the Eagles back. Wow, because that was a touchdown. Joe went in for the TD. From the spot of the foul, it comes. Bring it back to the 11 yard line. Where do we? First and goal from the 11. So a break for the Trojans. See there. Some grabbing going on. Eisenhower, 6.13 left to go. Have a chance now to extend their lead. Again, the Giorgio over center gives to his brother John. John puts his head down, but he's not going to get very far. Time to go to the ball carrier. We got a player that's hurt. Looks like Joey Silveri grabbing his wrist. Let's see what that's all about. Looks like he was hit pretty hard. That might be his um, shoulder. His shoulder. Yeah, they're up on the left shoulder. Second down. Patterson will be in the game for him. But that'll be a big... Uh, could be. The way he's rolling around there, was rolling around, was like a break, you know. But uh, it'll be second down and nine for uh, Eisenhower. Nine to go for the touchdown. Believe me, when when you slightly separate or dislocate that joint in that shoulder area, it is big, big pain. Okay, the trainer got him. It looked like he got it. Maybe it was a stinger. There we see. So there for how <laughs> got a nice little hat on. Got him sitting up. Moved his arm around a little bit. Well, the Eagles have had all the chances here in the second half. They've been playing most of the field down in the Henry Ford uh, Trojan area. I think Joey going to come out. Now he got a little bit of a sting. He's moving that arm a little bit. He's all right. Got a little bit of a stinger there. Stinger on the left shoulder, shaking the right fingers off. Yeah. We would like to congratulate Clintondale, who did get knocked off last night by DePores, 26-13. Had an outstanding season. Ended up 10-1. Uh, and one. Uh, Just an awesome time for the Clintondale Dragons. Well, here we go. Second and goal from just inside the 10. Go to Giorgio from the shotgun. Draw to Giorgio. He's got nowhere to go. Now he runs it outside. We well, got a flag again. And he's into the end zone, but let's see what that's all about. Got another hole. That'll move the Eagles back even farther. And I didn't see it. I don't know who it was. Somebody must have pulled somebody down. And the referee's calling it right there. He's Here we go. Right there. Right there's the hold. Right here. Right in front of the camera. I couldn't see who that was. Yeah, the zebra right on top of the play. That's a good call. So here we go. Now it's second down and 21. Well, the other thing is, is number one, it keeps moving you back, and number two, it keeps stopping the clock. The clock is not is not being allowed to run. He goes again, breaking out of it. Joe to Giorgio from the shotgun. 
Low snap, gets it off. Fires out there for China and he makes a catch. No, so he doesn't. Well, I thought he made the catch, but I guess he didn't. It must have skipped there. Seeger is Walski warming it up. A third down. Eisenhower at the Ford 21 yard line. Need to get it a little closer, get some field position anyway for a field goal attempt, if not into the end zone. They have to get in the end zone. Giorgio gives it to Hoover. He's got a little bit of right There's over. the corner at the right side. Goodbye. And he's in the end zone for a touchdown. Chris Hoover. 21 yard touchdown run by number 27. And the Eagles lead it 13 to 3. Eagles had twice, they scored twice, got him called back, finally called the Hoover sweep, that right sweep, and he pounds it in, got the corner and was gone. Third time's a charm, and there's Mr. Hoover, but he's asking where was he today. Once he got past that line, as you said before, Mark, there was nobody there. No. Everybody's up in the box, two and three yards off the line of scrimmage. You get by there, you're gone. Extra point attempt by Griswalski. The kick is up, and the kick is good. And the Eagles lead it 14 to 3 with 5.27 left to go in the ball game. Well, I tell you what, that gives you a little bit more breathing room um, because Henry Ford is going to come out and they're going to throw the ball again. Force them into throwing last time, you're going to force them again. And they have some good speedy wide receivers. See how they, while the DBs play for Eisenhower this next series. They'll be playing a 2 and 3 cover deep. Well, the important thing is that. The Eagles get a chance to cover a kick here. Because every time they've kicked off to Ford, we'll see the touchdown again. You see, Hoover gets it. And he sees a little bit of the opening. Blocked by Johnny right there. Kicked out the defensive end. And then there was nobody. Chris says, this is too easy. And he's had some hard runs today. So oh, yeah. I think he'll take that one. Absolutely. 29th touchdown of the season. Chris Hoover. It's a school record. It is, and continuing to grow. Grzlowski tees it up. Deep four four, number 21, Marvin Brandon. And number nine, Mike Merriweather. And it's been Merriweather who's been the big threat. Grzlowski needs to really kick the foot into this one. So Weiner goes to the corner and Barnes will take it on the two. Oh, a couple great blocks. Now Hoover there. chasing him down. He's got him. Now to the 11-yard line as Barnes tried to reverse the field, but Chris Hoover was chasing him and hunted him down and got him. Speed on speed. Eisenhower speed won that one. 5.22 left to go. The... Trojans need a couple of scores here to at least uh, a couple of touchdowns, actually, to win this ball game. Well, again, the defensive backs want to keep everything in front of themselves. Nothing gets by deep. Wilson Anderson will go from the shotgun, and he'll be standing at his own goal line. Now he moves up a yard. Three wide receivers to his left. A little screen pass to the right. Taken there by Orr. He's got some moves, and on the sidelines he goes. First down to the 25-yard line, and out of bounds. When you get in that pro set, that big spread, and you've got all those different uh, ammunition to throw to, all you got to do is pick your receiver with that single coverage to get it out to him against this defense. Well, he had all the receivers, or had three receivers to the right, and they threw the left to Orr. He gets him a first down to the 25 and some breathing room. 5-14 left to go in the game. Anderson bringing him up. Back to throw. 
Well, again, he cuts it over. Giorgio almost has it intercepted. He was reading that one all the way, pass intended for number 19, Lee Butler. Yeah, that was that was an out pattern and a fly pattern. One cut inside the other, and Joe didn't bite on it whatsoever. Followed the quarterback's eyes and played it well. It's only second down and 10. He had the up man on the zone, and he played him. Safety took the deep man. And he probably would have scored, too, if he wouldn't have fell out. Second out of 10. Again, you got Bell and Orr to the left. Butler over there on the right. Here comes Pinotti. Deep. Wilson Anderson. He got his man and knocked away by Joe DiGiorgio. Back Thurman over there as well. Orr couldn't hold on. It'll be third down and 10. The ball was just about there, Mark. Yeah, I, I tell you what, Henry Ford has hurt themselves on some pass receptions today. They've dropped some obvious passes. And, and when you're having to pass and you're not used to passing, that just kills you. Now Joe Silveri coming out again with that sore elbow. Right now, it doesn't hurt them too much. They need some quickness on that defensive line to get some pressure. And in there is... Uh, Number 26, Patrick Joseph back. Adam Carr. Smaller, quicker line for Eisenhower. Anderson again, 5.02 left to go. Bononi with the blitz. Dalio throw deep. Looking for a man. The ball is overthrown. Tenant for number 10, Andre Bell. Tied in back there in the coverage along with Hartman. Fourth and 10. 4.56 left. I mean, Ford with the three passes of only run 26 seconds off this clock since they possessed it. Silveri in a lot of pain there in that sideline. Now uh, Anderson bringing the play in from the sideline. They're going to go for it here. They need 10 for a first, so they're, they're going to have to get a first down. So that's what... Uh, Back to throw. Fires out of the sideline. Got his man open. It's oh no! Now we got a flag on Joe DiGiorgio. Late hit. That's going to be 15 yards on sports. Or got the first down. He had the first down anyway, but now he's going to have the penalty tacked on. Yeah, that's additional 15 yards in field position with 450 left. Right here's a pass. Good pass, good out pattern, good arm strength. Yeah, you see, he's, he's right there. Made the catch, and the Georgia comes in his back. And he was already out of bounds. Yep. A legitimate call. Well, that places the ball at the 49 yard line of the Eagles. 4.50 left, bike up 14 to 3, and Henry Ford's bringing it out in their passing offense right now. So here we go. Wilson back to throw again. Wilson Anderson. Now it looks like a screen play. Fumble! Picked up by Bell. The George over there smacking a few people around. And <laughs> also uh, on the ground is Robert Serra. What do we got here? Well, that was a slight collision there caused by John DiGiorgio. The fumble and the recovery. Second down and 11. John oh. reads so well. Just reads everything so well. The clock continues to run with 4.20 left to go here in the ballgame. Eagles lead it 14-3. to now Butler and Orr go to the left side. Skyler Hunter. Yeah, the right. He goes there. Uh, oh, he's got his man open. It's Bell. Makes a move around to Georgia. Makes another move. Finally, Jeff Hartman comes by and tackles him, but Bell's got a first down at the Eagle 34. Yeah, they keep driving down the field. The short pass instead of hitting those long passes. Henry Ford's coming back with those nice intermediate 10 to 12 yard passes. And then with athletic ability, gaining yardage after the catch. And, and they do that so well. They gain yards after the catch. Wilson Anderson, great protection down there. 
long able to throw. Back to throw this time. But only chasing it. Uh, dump it off. Oh. That is bad action. He's got a fumble on the play. It looks like Eisenhower might have it. We'll see. We'll see if the whistle will blow Now the it's third down. down. Yep. Oh, Atkins took a pop there. The ball was recovered anyway by number 51, uh, Jawan Kenny. See it right here. Sarr makes the initial hit. Joe DiGiorgio hits him, and then John, uh, Adam Carr comes through there. The ball was loose, but uh, recovered there by Jawan Kenny. Second down and eight. Three minutes left to go in the ball game. Bell comes in motion to the right side. Go deep over the middle. The Giorgio's got uh, Orr, but he may be close to a first down. We'll see. The clock's going to stop. We're going to probably measure this. Good throw and catch by Wilson Anderson and number seven, Jonathan Orr. Well, you've got 248 left in this ball game. You, ha you have to score two possessions to win for Henry Ford, which means they got to get in the end zone soon, get the ball back, and get in again to even think about winning this ball game. And it has to be two touchdowns. 2.35 to go. The Eagles lead it 14-3. Ball on the 24-yard line of Eisenhower. Butler and Orr to the right. Bell to the left. Now Atkins is moved over by Anderson. Back to throw. Looking. Fires down to the end zone. Georgia's beat. And it's incomplete. Must have been out of bounds because he cut the ball. Orr had it. But it was out of bounds. Coverage on the play by Joe DiGiorgio and Jeff Hartman. Well, Joe bit on that out and up pattern. Got blown by. Picked up by the safety that time. Third down. I'm sorry, second down. Second down and ten. Anderson. Maroney coming in on him. Now he fires on the out and overthrows number nine, Mike Merriweather. Incomplete. Now you're looking at a third and ten situation, Tim, with about 210 left in this ball game. The ball sitting out there on about the 23-yard line. You've, you've got limited time to get into the end zone, and this passing game for Henry Ford is not real accurate. But I tell you what, Wilson Anderson has a whole lot of time back there, a lot of protection to get these passes off. Third down and 10 from the 24. Atkins, the running back. Anderson being rushed, he gets out of it. Makes another tackle, chased by Uber Karate. Jonah Giorgio tackles, he fumbles the ball. Fourth down. <laughs> I think Anderson got his own uh, fumble back. We'll see it here. He's being chased by everybody but Bob Lancey on this play. Oh, there's a whole lot of excitement going on, I'll tell you. Look at this. Yeah, he, gets, him and he gets through. Gumo might have had a shot at him. Or... This is for the marbles right here. Fourth and nine. In the middle. Drop. Oh my. In his hands. Ten to there for number ten. Andre Bell goes incomplete. The Eagles will take over on down. With a minute 24 left to go in the ball game. Again, another drop pass by a young receiver out there. Cost Henry Ford an opportunity to be in a first down position with a minute 24 left in this game. Well, the Eagles get a break there. As number 10, Andre Bell. Couldn't hold on to that. And, uh, a couple of drop passes today have helped the Eagles. Tim, there's a minute 24 left. A lot can happen, but um, again, the winner going over to Birmingham Groves to play next Saturday in the state semifinals. And Eisenhower's going to down the ball. They're just going to down it and take it. Now, no sense of getting beat up anymore. Nope. Ball down by Joe Giorgio. Football fans, the regional trophy will be awarded in front of the winners. That the clock winner is just going to keep ticking. You've got about a minute 10 left now, buck 10. 
Looks like these Eagles are going to prevail. Again, Eisenhower, hang on, a 14-3 lead. For the second time in two years, looks like these Eagles are going on the state semifinals in this Class A football championship. Here we go. Joe DiGiorgio brings him up. Downhill. Go. Third down. Joe DiGiorgio down the ball. That should be it. No, we got a timeout. He got an injury down there. Got, a, got an injury. Is that right? Number there? eight. That is number eight, Mr. Wright. The next football game in I would the never think that be able to hurt PM. number eight. He's had a super, Again, super game to defensively. Right. right. He is tough. Tex right. From Texas. He's tough. Hobbling off with an ankle injury the way it looks. Begins a run here. Well, yeah. down down in Ohio, when you got a tight ball game and no timeouts left, if they teach they teach you to get carried off the field to stop the clock, set out a play, and then run back on the field again. That's Ohio football. That's right, man. Stops the clock. <laughs> Eighteen seconds left to go. Congratulations to the Eisenhower Eagles, Tim, and the Eisenhower Eagles. We'll win this regional final. Move on to the state tournament as they defeat the Henry Ford Trojans by a score of 14 to 3 here.